right, so let's get started. Let's start with something quick, healthy, and delicious. Something the whole family will enjoy, a juice. Now the Vitamix machine is much more than a juicer, it's even better. It doesn't just extract the juice, leaving the valuable pulp and fiber behind for you to clean up. Instead, it liquefies the skin, the pulp, and even the seeds into an incredibly smooth and creamy juice, packed with whole food nutrition. In fact, you will get almost your daily requirement of vegetables in this garden fresh cocktail I'll show you how to prepare right now. Now what's really nice, and what I know you're going to love about the Vitamix, is how little prep you have to do with all the fruits and vegetables you use. With the Vitamix machine, you use the whole food. So just wash them and you may have to occasionally cut them in half for quicker processing. Now once you get to know the Vitamix, you won't need to have a recipe every time. You'll know exactly what vegetables you like and how thick or how thin you want the juice to be. If you want the juice a little thinner, just add a little more water, it's just that easy. But for now, we'll get you started by learning a recipe which is a favorite of many Vitamix owners, our Garden Fresh Cocktail. Now I'm gonna start us off with some tomatoes and lycopene's found in tomatoes for cancer protection. We'll even get some spinach in there for heart health. We'll add in a carrot to help with your vision, beta carotene. We'll get some onion in there. That helps in reducing the risk of blood clots. We'll even get some red bell pepper in there. And this is loaded with a ton of vitamin C, much more than oranges. We'll add in some parsley. And you can add in salt if you'd like, it's optional. Now we're gonna add in a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, just a dash. A little bit of hot sauce. Now we'll add in the ice. Now you wanna make sure, always make sure the lid is locked tight. This powerful motor could redecorate your kitchen with whole food if it's not. And we're gonna use the tamper to help with quicker processing. Now the tamper that came with your machine has a collar on it a little wider than the opening of the lid to help prevent it from hitting the blades when you use it. Now this is where you use the variable speed feature. You flip this switch down. We're going to start it on one on the variable. We're gonna work it all the way up to 10. Flip it to high. I'm gonna let this run for about a minute. And I bet you can't wait to try this hot dog. And just that fast, we have a delicious vegetable, fresh vegetable cocktail. Mm, it's perfect and healthy. Now let's make a delicious fresh fruit drink. Smoothies and other whole fruit juices are very popular and you can find them almost anywhere these days. Smoothie bar smoothies are certainly a healthy snack, but they can also be an expensive one. In fact, if you just saved what you might spend on smoothies in one year, you could buy another Vitamix machine. Now the best thing about making a fruit juice or smoothie at home is that it's the perfect way to get your kids to eat a healthy breakfast. My daughter Julie won't eat fruit, but she sure will drink it. Actually, you can even sneak a serving or two of vegetables and the kids will never even know it's in there unless you tell them. Now what I love is you know exactly what you're drinking with the Vitamix machine. Now let's get started with an orange banana carrot drink. Now we're going to start off with some cranberry juice. And you can certainly use fresh cranberries when they're in season. We'll get some oranges in there, high in vitamin C. Also get some much needed potassium in your diet. We'll add in a banana. And my favorite, I love to add in these delicious veggies. Hide them from your children. Get some carrot and celery in there. We'll even get some ice in there. To make sure it's nice and cold. And you wanna make sure that you securely lock the lid in place when you turn the machine on. Now we're gonna start it using the variable speed on one. That's when you flip the switch down. We'll start it on one. We'll work it all the way up to 10 and flip it to high and we'll let it process for about a minute.
Cheers. Now let's get cooking. That's just what I said. We're going to cook in this machine. The Vitamix is so powerful that just by the friction of the blades running on high speed, you can create cooking heat. In a short four to six minutes, you'll have a fresh hot soup with nutrients you can't find in any can. We're going to make a real nice potato soup with some cooked chicken breast for added protein. A great way to use the leftover chicken breast. We even keep the recipe light by using low fat milk instead of cream. You need to always be careful when processing hot liquids in the Vitamix. Make sure you have the lid locked securely in place before turning the machine on because the liquid may steam or splatter and could very well scald you. So let's get started and make our chicken potato spinach soup. Now we're going to start off with some onion. We'll add in two potatoes cut in half for easier processing. We'll add in one cup of some chicken broth. We'll add in one and a half cups of skim milk. And a dash of rosemary. Now securely lock the lid in place. And we're going to start the machine on variable speed one, work it up to 10. We're going to flip it up to high and let it run for about four to five minutes until it's hot and steamy. Now we just reduce the speed onto the variable speed on three. So now we can add in our chunky ingredients to make it a chunky soup. And see how piping hot that is? Now we're going to start by adding in our chopped spinach. We'll add in some more low fat milk. We're going to add in one whole potato, cut up for quicker processing. and our chicken breast. You can even add a little bit of salt to taste. This soup is so rich and so creamy, you're absolutely gonna love it. Now let's try cooking a sauce, a nice fresh pesto you can use on any pasta. We'll start with olive oil, add some fresh grated Parmesan cheese, we'll add in three peeled cloves of garlic, some fresh basil, mm. we'll add in some pine nuts, and you can add salt and pepper to taste if you'd like. I'm going to secure the lid, select variable speed one, quickly increase speed to seven. I'll run this for about a minute and I'll be using the tamper to press any ingredients into the blades while processing. It doesn't get any fresher than this. So say it's 
it's hot outside and you're looking for something sweet, cold, and refreshing to cool you off. With your Vitamix, you can make frozen treats that are as delicious as you'll find in any fine restaurant, but healthier. So let's start with some whole food ingredients and make a strawberry yogurt freeze. And this one's easy. We're gonna add in one cup of some non-fat yogurt. You can use plain vanilla or strawberry. Followed by three cups of some whole frozen strawberries, unsweetened. If you find the taste to be a little tart, you can add any sweetener of your choice. I'm going to start on variable speed one, turn the machine on, then quickly increase the speed to 10, then to high. I'm going to use the tamper to help push the ingredients into the blades until the mixture is completely smooth. You'll know it's ready when you see four mounds form at the top of the mixture. You see, it's frozen. You can make this fantastic dessert in your Vitamix in 30 seconds. I am so excited. We're going to make peach ice cream. This is quick, easy, delicious, and your kids are going to love it. And the bonus is it's healthy. All you need for this recipe is one cup of low-fat milk. We'll add in a pound of frozen peaches. Now for this recipe, I'm going to add a half a cup of sugar. We'll also add some vanilla and almond flavoring. Again, I'm using variable speed one. I'll quickly increase the speed to 10, then to high. And don't be afraid to really push the ingredients into the blades with your tamper. The Vitamix is definitely designed to handle it. This is just one of those things that separates us from ordinary kitchen appliances, and certainly from run-of-the-mill blenders. What we'll do is run the machine for about 30 seconds or until you see four mounds at the top of the mixture. Make sure you don't run the machine too long, otherwise the ingredients will start to melt due to the friction heat created by the blades. You can also use this basic recipe with any fresh fruit. Then you just would add ice. You can even sneak a handful of carrots in for added color and nutrition. And as you can see, it's not only frozen, but it's delicious. You've seen Vitamix commercial blenders in your favorite coffee shop, bar, or restaurants. Now you can impress your friends by making the same amazing frozen drinks in the comfort of your own kitchen. Now let's try a few. I'll start off by showing you how to make the perfect whole fruit margarita. Okay, let's get started. 
We'll start off by adding in a whole orange, lime, and lemon completely peeled for vitamin C. We'll now add in sugar, some water, and of course it wouldn't be complete without the tequila and Grand Marnier. Now we'll top it off with about six cups of ice and we're ready to go. Lock the lid securely in place. Now what we'll do is start on variable speed one. We'll turn the machine on and quickly increase the speed to 10. Then we'll flip it to high. Run for about 40 seconds or until you can see it's completely smooth. This looks delicious. Cheers. Okay, let's say it's a hot summer day and you need a cool pick-me-up. Just wait till you taste this frozen cappuccino and made perfect every time with your Vitamix machine. We'll start off by adding in some instant coffee crystals. We'll add in some skim milk. And this is the best part. We'll even add in some white chocolate chips and a little vanilla extract. Just to add ice and that's it. We'll secure the lid, select variable speed one. We'll quickly increase it, the speed to 10, then to high. We'll run it for about 20, 25 seconds until completely smooth. Now you'll be able to make them just like the pros. And enjoy. Let's switch gears. We're going to make some hummus. That's a blending process too. You can just keep a can or two of garbanzo beans on hand and you'll always have a great appetizer at your fingertips. It's most definitely an easy one to make and even easier on your wallet. Now we'll start out by adding in some garbanzo beans, then some raw sesame seeds. We'll add in a little bit of olive oil. Some lemon juice. A clove of garlic, peeled. And finally, a little cumin. We'll secure the lid. And we'll start by selecting the variable speed one. 
quickly increasing the speed to 10, then to high. We'll let this blend for about a minute, using the tamper if we need to. It's a perfect appetizer and so quick and easy to make. With the Vitamix machine, you have the ability to chop soft and hard food. The end result will be perfectly sized ingredients for salads, pasta dishes, cookies, and the list goes on. Now imagine you're in the middle of a recipe that requires you to do a tedious chore of hand chopping things like carrots, olives, nuts, coconut, eggs, cheese, and onions. The Vitamix not only makes it easier, but faster. And that's just what we're going to do right now chop some onion, so save your tears. For best results, only chop one cup at a time, and you can control just how coarse or fine you want the chop to be, just by adjusting the variable speed dial. The faster the speed, the finer the chop. You can even combine some items used in the same recipe to save even more time. The lid is secure on the container, but we'll leave the lid plug out. We do that so we can just drop the ingredients on the blades while the machine is running. So you'll select variable speed three and turn the machine on and drop the quartered onion in. We'll continue letting it run until you get it just the way you want. chop something even harder. How about a carrot? The process is pretty much the same. Keep the lid securely placed on the container, but without the plug. Once again, we'll select variable speed three, turn the machine on, and drop the carrots onto the blades while the machine is running. Now we're going to do some wet chopping. This is a little different from dry chopping because you're using a liquid like water to circulate the food being chopped. This is definitely recommended for raw vegetables that require a uniform chop. Some vegetables, however, like the tomato, contain natural moisture and are able to chop wet on their own. Others, like cabbage, chop better when water is added. Wait until you see just how fast and easy it is to chop a head of cabbage for coleslaw. So what you want to do is cut the cabbage into wedges and place them in the container. Now cover the cabbage with enough water so that they float off the blades. Now 
All right. Now we just secure the lid. Set the speed on high. Turn the machine on for one second and stop. If needed, feel free to repeat this two or three more times. But you want to be careful not to overprocess. <laughs> now all you need to do is strain the cabbage and place it in a bowl. You can mix your favorite dressing and season to taste. See our salad dressing section for ideas. You can wet chop cabbage for things like soup, salad, stir fry, and side dishes. a party. You can use the wet chop process to make yourself some healthy and tasty salsa mexicano. The whole foods we'll be using in this recipe are some fresh tomatoes, some jalapeno, some green chilies, and some tomato paste. We'll add in some fresh cilantro and a little bit of salt to taste. Now we'll secure the lid, select variable speed four or five, turn it on and allow it to run for three to five seconds or until the ingredients are chopped the way you like them. And if needed, you can use the tamper to help process the ingredients. You can also add some corner black beans before serving an interesting taste variation. And then serve with tortilla chips. recipes, some Vitamix peanut butter. We have all the ingredients, it's just nuts. The process is grinding and we'll be doing it in the wet blade container. It's much more nutritious than store-bought peanut butter because it doesn't include any hydrogenated oil or added sugars. This peanut butter is all natural and incredibly good. All you do is load the container with three cups of roasted peanuts. Now you just secure the lid, remove the lid plug, insert the tamper. This will certainly help in speeding up the processing. We'll then start the machine on variable speed one, quickly increase the speed to 10, and flip it to hot. <laughs> As you could see, this is a process that really puts your tamper to work. So be sure while it's running to listen carefully and you'll hear the change in the sound of the motor when your peanut butter begins to flow freely through the blades. Now your processing is complete and it only takes about a minute. This is absolutely the most fantastic, warm, wonderful peanut butter like you've never tasted before.
You can also use your Vitamix machine to grind dry ingredients. We're going to use the dry blade container. It can grind grains most efficiently because it moves the ingredients up and away from the blades. You can grind fresh flour in as little as a minute. We'll be turning whole wheat berries into a heart healthy and fresh bread. You can also grind beans, rice, or tapioca into flours for gluten-free recipes. What you'll love about making your own homemade flours is that you're not getting bleached or over-processed flour that has very little nutrition. You're able to get it fresh and packed with nutrients. And grinding grain is so quick and easy. You can literally make fresh homemade bread every single day, which gives you more dietary fiber, more vitamins, and more taste than any store-bought bread. We're starting off our recipe with some whole wheat berries. And a little bit of salt. I'll be grinding the grain in the 32 ounce dry blade container. Now we'll secure the lid. And by the way, the lid plug is conveniently marked with measurements. Start the variable speed on one and we'll quickly increase it to 10 and then to high. I'll grind the wheat berries for about a minute. So now we have freshly ground whole wheat flour and we're all ready to make our dough. When you grind your own grain, you never need to add oil to the recipe because the whole wheat berries have plenty of natural oil. And here's another hint. For best results, you might want to store your grain in your freezer. When you grind frozen grain, you won't lose any valuable enzymes. Another thing, don't grind more than two cups at a time because you want to make sure the grain circulates evenly in the container. In the segment on grinding, we use the dry grind process to make flour from wheat berries. Now I'll be showing you how to knead that flour into a dough to make fresh, healthy, homemade bread. That's right, the Vitamix machine even kneads dough for you right in the container, so you won't ever need to touch it. First I went ahead and measured the water, yeast, and honey, and I set it aside to proof for three to five minutes. And it looks just about ready. Now I want you to notice the hole that is formed in the center of the flour. That's where I'm going to pour those wet ingredients. To mix the dough, I'm going to secure the lid and turn the machine on high for one second. Now we're going to let the dough rest for a minute, and this is a great time to set the temperature on the oven and prepare your bread pan. Now I'll quickly turn the machine on and off five times to thoroughly knead the dough. Now you'll want to use a rubber spatula to scrape the dough from the sides of the container. This pulls the dough toward the center. Now we'll pull the spatula out. I'm going to repeat this process about five times until a ball of dough begins to form. Now, I'll pulse the dough a few times to get it off the blade so it's easier to remove. Now into the pan. I'll use a wet spatula to remove any remaining dough and shape the loaf. Now you want to let it rise for about 25 minutes and it'll be ready to bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. 
Here's how it looks ready for the oven. And here's your fresh baked bread full of heart healthy nutrition. One of the many wonderful features of the Vitamix is how easy it is to clean. Before using your machine for the first time, clean the container by running the machine with five cups of warm water and two drops of liquid detergent for about two minutes. This removes any oils or particles from the packaging. Remember, no matter what you're making in your Vitamix machine, it is just that quick and easy to clean up. We'll start on variable speed one, quickly increase to speed 10 and flip it to high. You see that? The Vitamix literally becomes its own dishwasher. Some recipes may require some light cleaning, but like everything else about the Vitamix machine, this process makes your life easier. And don't be afraid to make your machine work hard. The commercial quality motor and automatic thermal protection are just a few of the features that put Vitamix in a category all by itself. If your protection kicks in, turn the machine off and the unit will reset itself. See your owner's manual for details. So enjoy your new machine. Make all the recipes in your getting started guide to get comfortable. Then go creative. Make up your own recipes, then share and compare them with other Vitamix owners. If you have a question on a recipe or anything else, call the Vitamix customer service team. Everyone right here at Vitamix headquarters will be able to answer the questions you have in a timely fashion. That's what Vitamix is all about, you, and helping you get the most out of your Vitamix machine. It is my pleasure to personally welcome you to the Vitamix family. I have to tell you that purchasing the Vitamix machine and having it right in your own kitchen was one of the best investments you'll ever make because you now have complete control of what you and your family are eating. You can forget about fast processed and packaged foods that are loaded with additives and preservatives. And now you can make your own fresh food completely packed with nutrition that tastes incredible. You'll see just how fast, fun, and easy it is to prepare healthy meals, snacks, sauces, and amazing desserts in your Vitamix machine. This is definitely much more than a machine. It's a complete lifestyle. You are all set for success having hundreds of recipes and this helpful DVD to get you started. I do strongly recommend trying all the recipes in your Getting Started Guide. I will be showing you how to make some of these delicious recipes. And remember, you can always substitute a fruit or sweetener in any recipe of your choice. Be sure to register your Vitamix machine today by filling out the warranty card included in the box with your Vitamix or online at Vitamix.com to activate that amazing warranty. And remember, as a new Vitamix owner, you have become part of a growing community of tens of thousands of Vitamix owners all around the world. Vitamix is constantly updating the website with new recipes, the latest health information, and special events. We also have a section where Vitamix owners can go and share their own recipes and tips. You'll absolutely love it. Vitamix Corporation has a reputation second to none. Being in business since 1921, and we still today do everything right here in the United States at the Vitamix World Headquarters in Cleveland, Ohio.